Hi everyone and welcome to today's lesson. It is lesson two of week one of term four and today is Wednesday. And what we will be looking at today again is sharing equally. Now before we get started, let's do our mass warm up activities. And again, you can use a whiteboard and a marker or a piece of paper and a pencil. Okay, so our number of the day. Now we did this yesterday and our number of the day was 18. And today we are looking at the number 15. So what you will need to do is represent it as a tally, as a picture, as a number sentence and on a 10 frame. And remember for our tally, we are putting them into bundles of five. So have a go at that today, pause the video, work it out on a piece of paper and then come back and we'll do it together. Okay, so let's have a look. Now remember our number of the day is 15, so we'll be doing lots of counting to the number 15. Let's look at it as a tally. Got one, two, three, four, five. And remember my fifth one always goes diagonal so that we know that is a group of five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've got two groups of five there, two bundles of five. So I've got ten there, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So there's my fifteen as tallies. Now let's look at it as a picture. And today I've used love hearts, so count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then as a number sentence. Now today I changed it a little bit and I actually did grouping. So remember that's our multiplication, it's like repeated addition, but instead I put the word groups in there. So it says three groups of five equals 15. And you can see that with my representation of my pictures. We can see that there's one group of five, two groups of five, and three groups of five. So three groups of five equals 15. All right, let's take a look on a 10 frame, counting with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, and again, you can see that one 10 frame is complete. So it's kind of like 10 plus five equals 15. Okay, so now I want you to look at this. Now, remember last term in term three, we looked at time and we looked at o'clock. And what we learned is that when the big hand is always on the 12th, it always is going to be o'clock. And then when the small hand is on any of the numbers, that's the number we say first. So it'll be something o'clock. Now, when we write that as digital time, you can see I've got my two dots here. We put it like this. So I've got my 10 because look, my small hand is pointing to the 10. And then I put my two zeros. So you may have seen this. It could be on your microwave. It could be on a digital clock in your bedroom. And that's the way that it is written. So the time here is 10 o'clock. Okay, so let's take a look at our last warm up activity and it is what's the shape? So what you need to do is look at this shape, tell me its name, tell me how many sides it has and tell me how many corners it has. And remember corners are when two sides meet, it's this bit right here. Now, if you can't quite spell the name of this shape, I just want you to sound it out, stretch that word out. And even if you're just writing the beginning sound that you hear, record it down on a piece of paper. So pause the video, complete the activity, and then come back and we'll do it together. All right, let's have a look. Hmm, what's this shape? Now I can see that there are two long sides, two short sides. Now it can't be a square because we know squares are all equal sides. Hmm. 
must be a rectangle. So the name is rectangle. Now you may have just written down the R, the R, because when I stretch it out, I can hear R, rectangle. Now how many sides are there? Let's count them. I've got one, two, three, four. There are four sides. How many corners? Now remember, it's when our two sides meet. Let's count them together. One, two, three, and four. There are four corners. So we have a rectangle with four sides and four corners. So let's take a look at our learning intention and success criteria for today. Our learning intention is that we are learning to share a collection of objects and our success criteria is that I can share a group of objects to solve problems. Now this was the same as yesterday and it will be the same tomorrow because we really need to practice our sharing and that we are doing it one by one so that we know that it is equal. Now what I'm going to do is show you a read aloud story now and it's called When the Doorbell Rang and I love this book because it's all about sharing and how to do it equally and I hope you enjoy it just as much as I do and then after that we will get started on our activities. Enjoy. <laughs> The Doorbell Rang by Pat Hutchins I've made some cookies for tea, said Ma. Good, Good said Victoria and Sam. We're starving. Share them between yourselves, said Ma. I made plenty. That's six each, said Sam and Victoria. They look as good as grandma's, said Victoria. They smell as good as grandma's, said Sam. No one makes cookies like grandma, said Ma, as the doorbell rang. It was Tom and Hannah from next door. Come in, said Ma. You can share the cookies. That's three each, said Sam and Victoria. They smell as good as your grandma's, said Tom. And look as good, said Hannah. No one makes cookies like grandma, said Ma, as the doorbell rang. It was Peter and his little brother. Come in, said Ma. You can share the cookies. That's two each, said Victoria and Sam. They look as good as your grandma's, said Peter, and smell as good. Nobody makes cookies like grandma, said Ma, as the doorbell rang. It was Joy and Simon with their four cousins. Come in, said Ma. You can share the cookies. That's one each, said Sam and Victoria. They smell as good as your grandma's, said Joy, and look as good, said Simon. No one makes cookies like grandma, said Ma, as the doorbell rang. And rang. Oh dear, said Ma, as the children stared at the cookies on their plates. Perhaps you'd better eat them before we open the door. We'll wait, said Sam. It was Grandma, with an enormous tray of cookies. How nice to have so many friends to share them with, said Grandma. It's a good thing I made a lot. And no one makes cookies like Grandma, said Ma, as the doorbell rang. So 
Okay, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that story. And what I loved about it is they actually only had two kids at the start and they were 12 cookies. And when they shared them between the two of them, they got six each. But then eventually once all the kids came and they shared them equally because there were 12 cookies and 12 kids, they only got one each, but lucky for grandma who showed up with more cookies. It actually makes me a little bit hungry. I absolutely love cookies, especially when they're freshly cooked. Okay, so what we're going to do today, boys and girls, is share these circles um, between the groups here. So our first one is share 12 between two. So what you might like to do is on a piece of paper, draw two big circles, and then we're going to share the 12 together. So I'm going to do it first to show you, and then the next one I would like you to do on your own. So I'm going to draw my circles here with yellow. I've got 12 down the bottom, and we're sharing between two. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now let's count how many are on each group. So I'm just going to cross them off so that I know that I've counted all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So when we share 12 between two, it equals six. Fantastic. Let's take a look at another one. Share eight between two. So pause the video and I would like you to do this one on your own and then come back and we can do it together. Okay, let's take a look. I might just do it with green now. So I've got my two groups and I'm sharing eight. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now remember last term how we were subitizing. I can see straight away without counting them individually that there's four on one plate and four on the other. So sharing eight between two, it will equal four. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Share 15 between three. Pause the video, draw your three groups, and then I would like you to share 15 between those three groups. And then come back and we'll do it together. Okay, let's take a look. Now I'm gonna do, make it a little bit easier for myself and I'm just gonna draw lines. So counting with me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So how many do I have in each group? Well, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. I've got five there. One, two, three, four, five. And then I have one, two, three, four, five. So when we share 15 between three, it equals five because each group has five circles in each of them. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Share 18 between two. So you'll need to draw your two groups on a piece of paper and then share 18 between them. Pause the video and then come back and we'll do it together. All right, let's take a look. So I'm gonna choose green. I'm just going to do my lines again because I'm looking at the number 18 and I know it's a bigger number. So I'm going to cross them out after to double check. So let's start one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17 and 18. All right, so I've shared the 18 between two, but what does it equal? What do each group have? 
Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the first group has nine. The second group has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So when we share 18 between two, it equals nine. Fantastic. All right, let's take a look at this one. Share 21 between three. Now this will be our last one. Got a bigger number. First thing you need to do is show me three groups. Draw your three circles on a piece of paper and then you are sharing 21 between them. So do that and then come back and we'll do it together. All right, let's take a look. We're sharing 21. So I need your help counting now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21. All right, let's work out how many are in each group. Can you count with me again? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that one has 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, group 2 has 7. Let's see what group 3 has. 1, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And group three has seven. So when we share 21 between three, it equals seven. Each group has seven circles in their group. All right, well done, everyone. Right, so let's quickly go over our learning intention and success criteria to finish off our lesson for the day. Now our learning intention was that we are learning to share a collection of objects. And our success criteria was that I can share a group of objects to solve problems. Now I want you to think, when were we sharing groups of objects to solve problems? Did we do it? Did we do it correctly? Are we able to tick that off today? And I think we are because what we were doing, we had our groups and we were sharing our circles between the groups. And then we were figuring out what amount each group had. So well done today, everyone. I'm going to give ourselves a big tick because you worked really hard. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and I'll see you next time. Bye.